Hello and welcome to the Astrology and Spirituality Show with Elisa and Patrick for Saturday the 16th of January, a day when the moon is in the gentle sign of Pisces. But also we have a, a wonderful angle between that moon and Uranus, which is kind of encouraging us to think outside the box. But Uranus is in a square with Jupiter. Jupiter is about growth and Uranus is about potentially change, but in the sign of Taurus can be the resistance of change. So I still feel there's a lot of tension bubbling around the heavens. If you're lucky enough to be chatting to someone you really like online, the angle between Venus and Uranus is very auspicious. It could see some kind of unexpected breakthrough in a romantic context or even in a financial one because obviously the sign of Taurus is very much about um, lucre and it's about the enjoyment of the good things in life. Now, that's my side of things. Elisa, what cards are you using today? So today we're going to use the Archangel Oracle cards. Um, very lovely cards to work with, full of angels. So let's see which one pops up for us today. That feels really peaceful. Yeah. Especially with that moon. Definitely. We need some in calm. Concert. Right. Okay. Well, he's made an appearance again. It's Archangel Michael. Michael. He's back. And it says here, you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones and your home. If we do ever get into any altercations or any situations where we, we just don't really feel safe or we feel a little bit vulnerable or we feel in some ways that we're being talked about, um, Archangel Michael is the angel we can really call upon to help shield our home, shield our families, even our pets. It's a huge protective energy. If we look at this angel in terms of um, ancient scriptures, he is known as the right hand of, of God, the most powerful angel there is. In fact, in a lot of writings, he is the one that defeats, um, you know, Lucifer. So he really does have, um, if we're talking about angels, I like to think of angels as a frequency rather than a sort of mythical being and that's how i connect to that that's, energy oh, i think that's brilliant so we think about our frequency here sometimes we can't hear high-pitched noises but animals can because they're more attuned to that frequency well to me that is what angels are they're a, they're a higher vibrational frequency in this universe um, that has different traits and so if we think about the frequency of Michael as being a protective vibration that's what we're aligning to when we're talking about this angel. Where did the, the thinking around angels first come from? Was it in the Old Testament? Was it just a Christian tradition? No. Was it not a Christian tradition? So you hear about it in biblical <coughs> texts you will find angels in the Old Testament a lot um, particularly anything to do with um, King Solomon, who was said to be the wisest man that ever lived, uh, who conversed directly with God uh, and angels. Um, you also hear about angels guiding um, other prophets like Noah, like um, Jesus. Um, so, and it's not just in biblical text, it's also in um, Judaism. You will also hear about angels in Islam, particularly um, Archangel Gabriel is very vocal um, as the messenger angel. So in Christian text, we may hear Gabriel as bringing Mary the good news that she's gonna have uh, Jesus or um, Elizabeth the good news that she's gonna have John the Baptist. But in Islam, brings the news that Muhammad is a prophet. Um, so yes, angels really are talked about across many different texts. I think with the frequency of the moon being in the sign of Pisces, which can be very sensitive, and of course we do have the glyph of Pisces, which is the fish going in two different directions, which is actually very much linked to Christianity. Mm. Some people would say that in terms of the ages, like we're moving into the age of Aquarius, some people would say that we've uh, reversing out because the ages go in reverse. We're reversing out of the age of Christianity, the age of Pisces. So I think that's a, a, lovely, uh, a lovely insight that, that you've shared for, for me and taught me quite a lot there, as you often do. If you would like to check out your free daily horoscope, please see beneath this video. Of course, Uranus is now 
in direct motion, which I think is something we can appreciate, but because of that tense right angle, broadly, obviously more exactly with Jupiter, but more broadly with Saturn, and being very close to Mars, there's still a lot of electric tension around, a lot of resistance, and I think feelings are bubbling to the surface in sometimes harsh ways. But I think the Pisces energy can provide a little bit more spiritual dimension or potential for us all to embrace this weekend. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. I'd be really grateful as well uh, if you felt inclined to subscribe if you haven't already and click or tap on that notification bell. Thank you so much. Have a great Saturday. So from the A group. Yeah, we've had some new ones. The A um, Elizabeth said we were the A Amazings, I think it was, oh, she came, which is very flattering. Very Thank humbling. You, Thank you so much, Elizabeth, <laughs> with an S. Yes. And uh, <laughs> so have a great day. And for us both, it is... Goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. goodbye.